The sea, the dunes, the gulls, the adjacent railway. Nine out, nine in. This golf course ticks all the boxes of classic links. Right, so today, yeah, it's Abba Dovey Golf Club. I'm on a very special hole, which will feature very, very shortly in a man versus golf hole challenge. But for now, go and have a look around the front nine and I'll see you back here very shortly as I take on this iconic 12th hole. I'm never a fan of blind tee shots and the reason I don't like them is because if you do it a decent shot I like to see it land but I'll make an exception for this par 3. It's a stunning little hole, it's playing 140 downwind and uh, we've got a camera planted on the green. Can I get a ball on it? There's half a chance there. Well I can only see the top of the flag and that's sort of online for it. Not a bad tee shot, but a great hole. I just wish I could see the green. Birdie would be nice. Go on, go on, get in. Well, I quite like blind golf holes. Right, I love Lynx golf for many reasons and uh, at Harlech a few weeks back I tried to hit that shot, that one low into the wind and feed off the camber and it's the same with these type of chip shots, you can see the runnings at um, Abba Dovey have been fantastic, great condition. We see a lot of the old boys who play around these courses for many many years, they'll use a club with not a lot of loft, hit one in and a bump and run type of shot feed it in off the camber and that's what we're going to have a little bit of a go of. That's not a bad effort, you know. Come off that camber, feed to the hole, it needed a bit more. Well, that was a decent effort, so don't take my example of it, but that's the shot that you need to master around these courses. I've got to say the greens absolutely superb and when you consider again I've mentioned it on every video we've just come out of lockdown here in Wales and for them to have the course and the condition it is it's a real achievement so uh, yeah once again a credit to the Abba Dovey green staff but I need to blame something so if this doesn't go in then uh, the greens will bobbly. Bit of a swing on that. Oh he's got it. He's got it. Like I said, greens are perfect. I'll come right through the back of the green on this par 3 9. I'm going to try the old uh, bit of a flat earth stick. That's a 7 iron. Do you know what? They're the shots. You can play and stay here at Abu Dhabi. Uh, last time we came, we actually made use of the Dormy House, which is next to the first tee. It's a perfect place to stop, great accommodation. And I know they do some great deals in terms of, uh, like I said, two rounds of golf and an overnight stay, but it's perfect. And Abu Dhabi as, a, as a, a seaside town, I suppose you'd call it, really pretty, really quaint. It's a sort of bucket and spade, ice cream type of place and uh, some nice restaurants here. It's, uh, day like today, it doesn't get much better. Yeah, so pretty decent so far, it's fair to say. And like I say, that start off to the round, that sort of first five or six holes is fantastic. You really know 
you into a decent course. But a 12th year is a bit of a, a disaster. Um, I don't know how many years ago it was now, but basically this green or the previous green washed away into the sea, uh, which is just, you'll see from the drone footage, just over the other side to the right of the green and uh, the sandbanks collapsed and it was a major, major loss. And they've rebuilt this green that we're looking at now. And it's still a fantastic golf hole. It's a massive challenge as well. Wind in off the left, we're only playing 130 today, and believe me, back there, this can play a whole lot different. But it's still, I think, got to be sent down that left-hand side, and hopefully, you've got to get the club right, and also just judge that wind. That's half decent. Sit down, ball. Well, the question is, and as ever, you see before I do, because I can't quite see the bottom of the green. Right at the flag, looks so like it had a bit of side spin on, so cutting right at the flag, but hopefully somewhere up there. And the first part of the challenge is achieved, which is finding that short stuff on the dance floor. Right. I don't know my fate, you do. I can't even see it. Oh, oh pin eye as well. So I don't know whether you will have seen that. I'm assuming it's pitched sort of anywhere centre to flag and it's just off the fringe in the back right i can't see a pitch mark maybe that's the pitch mark it's so strange when uh, like i said you've already seen it anyway that was a decent club but it's just uh, swung away as i said i thought it might a bit of wind and a bit of cut spin as well anyway we're still here we've still got a chance of a birdie. I've had a couple today. Come on, this would be nice. Roll out. Oh. Yeah, I think it uh, was always going to stay on that high side. So uh, even though the pace wasn't there, never quite right. But a stunning golf hole, but it's not about the golf hole. Come with me. Because whenever you come here, You've got to come and have a look over the top. And that's what Abba Dovey's all about, right there. Great golf, high dunes, the sound of the sea. I don't know, for me it doesn't get any better than that. Stunning. can be seen on the 16th, a quirky little hole at 280 yards of par 4. Take an iron off the tee and be as tight as you dare to that left hand side in the railway. I got lucky, left the shortest angle in, just 100 yards with a wedge, but that green it's long and it's narrow and there's plenty of danger on the left. Miss it on the high side, leave yourself two putts and get off onto the 17th. What's the first thing you think of when you finish a round at Abu Dhabi? I think it's when can I come back? I think that says it all really. Top, top golf course and in excellent condition again. So congrats to all the team at Abu Dhabi. And like I said, I can't wait to come back.